I'm filming this is currently Christmas time. So there, are, of course, are tons of sales going on everywhere. Um, but this does tend to happen all throughout the year. There's always some sale somewhere where you can try and get a treatment or a service a little bit cheaper, which I totally get. Uh, it's expensive. I mean, you know, medical aesthetic treatments, fillers, Botox, what have you, they are a little bit more on the pricey side. But with that being said, I know we all know this, but still people fall into the traps of a good deal. You always want to know where you're getting your treatments done. Uh, here at the Dupiri Clinic, we work alongside with a team of doctors. So I find that really important. So let's back it up a bit here and discuss what medical aesthetics actually is. Medical aesthetics is a kind of a step up from regular aesthetics where we try and get to the deeper root of the problem. Our services are a little bit more aggressive. A lot of them do require downtime. So this can range from treatments anywhere from peels and lasers and microderms to, you know, things such as laser resurfacing, fractional lasers. So why do I think it's important to go to a clinic or a, an area that has physicians on site? The reason being is because medical aesthetics isn't a certified trade. Um, basically, anybody that has an aesthetics license can get their hands on a laser if they please or if they want, which in my opinion is absolutely terrifying because A, you don't necessarily have the proper training. Um, B, just because you can do aesthetics, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have the scientific knowledge behind a lot of these things. And I'm not bashing aesthetics. I am a certified esthetician as well. I'm not bashing it. I'm just saying with working in a physician's office, you get a lot more in-depth scientific training um, instead of just, you know, buying a laser from someone online and just zapping away and going at it. That being said, I have been in the medical aesthetics industry for almost a decade now. I have seen some things. <laughs> I have seen some things that have you cannot unsee. Um, so one of the biggest things I like to stress, and I don't like to throw around the C word all that much, but if you're going to someone that has no experience with skin, and A, you actually can't even diagnose any skin condition unless you're an actual doctor here in Canada, you can honestly misdiagnose skin cancers so easily. Many laser technicians or skin technicians, they will see a, a lesion or something on somebody's face and just think it's, you know, maybe some rough skin or a blemish or something. And they'll just willy nilly zap it right off, uh, misdiagnose it, or they'll remove it without actually removing the root. And therefore people can be living with misdiagnosed skin cancers for years and not know it because they've never actually had a doctor look at it. So the next, the next image I'm about to show you is not for the faint of heart, but it is a real person just recently that um, is allowing us to use his photos where he went somewhere and it got misdiagnosed and they completely missed it. And then I, I looked at him and I said, you know what, that does not look good. That looks very questionable to me. We brought him in and it ended up on being a form of pre-cancer on the side of his nose. So we sent him out and we got it treated, but if he wouldn't have known or had it diagnosed properly, he could have just lived with it for years and it could have turned into something much worse. Just goes to show, look, I'm not trying to freak you out, I'm not trying to, you know, bad talk anybody, but it's just, I see these things, we see these things as a clinic firsthand all the time don't go for the most trendy treatment happening make sure you're not just going anywhere that just kind of popped up i've seen clinics or people in their basements whatever so many have come and gone i'm saying this from the kindness of my own heart just make sure you know where you're going and whose hands you're putting your face in